Uh, you know what? Actually, guys, I wanted to watch a classic cut. They uploaded a new video. I have only seen the title, but I'm very interested. Guess what my pubes look like? <laughs> uh, why do I got to tell you when I can just show you? Yoink. I want to just bring you guys along for this one because I think it will be, uh, that'll be a good time. Guess what my pubes if look like? you did use this razor, mm -hmm. how would you... Okay. We're four seconds in to this video. Can we just talk about the cast of characters that cut fines for their goddamn f videos? I mean, they go to the depths of Mordor to find the most progressive, liberal, whatever the f And then like on the other side of the spectrum, like they just find the deepest cut human beings you can possibly find. It makes for interesting content, I'll give it that. And I don't, I'm not trying to say progressive liberal is like a bad thing. Like you wouldn't look at this dude and be like, oh, he's like a right wing Trump supporter, right? And that's just like, I'm conditioned to buy my time on Twitter. You'll never find just like a couple of like soccer moms and like a couple of bros and a tech dad. It's always just like the extremes of certain fringe parts of society, but it makes for good content. So let's continue. How would you use it? Um, let's see. I would go from the bottom. Jesus. Grab everything and go from the bottom and get in there. Yeah. We asked people to guess what strangers' pubic hair looks like. They use the same little song for everything. My name's Craig. Holy f**k, it's Craig! Let's go! Yo, if you watch the main channel, but you know why we're f***ing amped up right now. Craig is the boy. This is one of those ones where I'm going against my better judgment. I'm going to say you're not a sex worker. I'm going to just go. <laughs> my man Craig's like, yeah, I mean, you check all the boxes. I'm just going to go against my better judgment and say no for the hell of it. Let's go, Craig. Show me something good in this video. I manage a bar. My name is Anjali, and I am a model. My name is Alyssa. I work uh, in part as an esthetician. So correct me if I'm wrong, but esthetician. Estheticians deal with all things kind of beauty related, whether it's skincare, hair removal, uh, practitioners that do Botox and other things on the face also uh, fall under the umbrella of aesthetics. Do you know what you're guessing today? I have no idea. I have no idea. You're going to guess what people's pubic hair looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man. <laughs> Can you describe your pubic hair? That's cool. Oh my God. Yes! Obviously a landing strip. Two little Hitler-like landing strips. Right above the fat pussy lips. <laughs> Sorry, I took it too far. I get a lot of questions where people are like, what are people doing now with their pubic hair? What are people doing now? The Gen Zers, oh. a lot of them are growing it out. Gen Xers and some millennials get more hair removed. This is what TikTok is doing to the kids. I've said it before, I'll say it again. TikTok is ruining our children. It's making the kids grow the pubic hair out? Are you kidding me? But it's natural. It's the way God intended. We're not supposed to shave our armpits. We're becoming slaves to the societal beauty standards. Come on, bro. Shave your shit. If you don't want to, that's fine. But don't get mad if someone doesn't like it. The great pubic hair debate is a real thing like everyone's got their own methods right guys gals obviously it's it's a very personal conversation typically i go for the thor braid almost always i mean my shit's braided like mid thigh i mean i haven't cut that shit since i was in grade school may i ask you how old you are i'm uh, 64. i'm a boomer Alyssa, what do boomers do with their pubes <laughs> it could be anything <laughs> are you currently in a relationship yes I have two partners. Double duty. Yeah. That sounds exhausting. <laughs> and they find some motherfuckers for this show, man. Like what? Olivia, 64, galaxy dress, slanging two dicks on the regular. Well, I, you know, model for uh, drawing, painting, and sculpture classes. Like new. Artiste. Yes. She's an artiste. Let's go. Gloria, do you have a triangle on the top and then it gets sort of narrow as it goes? Well, let's keep this consistent with the last cut video. Let's collectively guess. I think she is completely unkempt, full-blown bush. I mean, we're talking inner thigh off to the belly button I'm with wrong. your lifestyle i'm, wrong. I'm so I'm gonna, wrong i'm gonna go with your your shave down there right now top to bottom front to back yes yeah i get brazil Yo! <laughs> yeah oh! craig is on fire right out of the gates we love the boy craig top to bottom front to back he fucking nailed it somebody was was teaching a workshop on conilingus <laughs> yeah and she was waxed and she just 
had nothing but good to say about it and thought, huh, I should, I should give that a try. I mean, come on. If you're teaching a workshop on how to be a cunning linguist, you gotta have that Brazilian. Come on. There's no two ways about it. I'll never get tired of the word cunnilingus. I mean, it is the funniest scientific word to describe anything. Funnier than fellatio, cunnilingus is top tier content. I'm Connor. Connor, I'm Craig. Craig, nice to meet you, man. Awkward. I am guessing what's going on with your pubic situation. Are you cool with this? I'm very cool with it. Mm. Are you cool with it? Uh, yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, okay. It's a little weird. Do you talk about pubic hair with your guy friends at all? Absolutely not. This is weird as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Craig is basically, if I was on the show, I feel like we're, we're basically soul, we're soulmates, Craig and I. That's it, like I talk about some weird shit with my boys, you know, like, but you're never really talking about how you maintain your pubes. Like that's just never a thing that comes up. It may be back in the day, like high school locker room vibes, back in the football days, thing, things got a little erotic, a little homoerotic back in those days. But now there's only two options, Clippers or Clippers and then straight edge. I'm not going to reveal what's going on my, with my own shit. Like, listen, I'm, I'm a fucking, this is a Christian Minecraft server. I've said it so many times and you guys are disgusting for even trying to want to know what I do over here. We're watching the, we're worried about, we're worried about these sinners. Okay. So fucking claim it. Shut up. He has a bush. <laughs> that quick? Yeah. The beard, the hair. He's a hairy guy. That is very, like, stereotyping, actually. Oh, God. Is <laughs> oh, it? no. You're kind of stereotyping me. I'm not saying you're wrong yet, but... <laughs> Do you ever... Imagine that. He's, like, actually bullshit pissed off. He's like, I can't believe you'd stereotype me because I have long hair. You think I have a bush? I'm fucking out of here. This is offensive. I hate this. I am going to guess that you do some clipper trimming. A little bit of manscaping. A lot of landscape. That's a fucking super solid guess, I feel like, for most guys. Clipper trimming with maybe a little straight edge to kind of shape the edges. Solid guess by the esthetician. She knows what's up. Being trim that down and then you just kind of let it regrow over the summer and you know, build up that winter coat. That's pretty spot on, dude. Like, it's like the landing strip, but like not as precise. What do you do with your taint in your bubble? Keep it maintained if uh... Do you, are you like a person that's, you're in the mirror, like? What position are you getting? Is it like pretty, a back? Pretty like straight up, pretty easy. I mean, I'll lift, the, lift the leg up a little bit kind of thing, I <laughs> okay. guess. I like the model chick was straight up like, she was not shy. She's like, what do you do with like your taint in your asshole? Just look them right in the eyes and ask them that question. She's a model though, so she's in that. They're constantly talking about everything, about how you look. I mean, you're hyper 4K pictures constantly all the time. You gotta have your shit tight. Do you have any religious beliefs? I'm Christian. This girl is as bush as it gets. Let's go right out of the gates. If this girl isn't fucking creeping up into her belly button, fucking my name is Peter. And how old are you? I'm 20. Oh, so you're like, you're a Gen Z, right? Oh, I suppose. What are Gen Zers? Well, the Gen Zers are often au natural. Mm. I'm gonna say that there's something unique. You've got a very, uh, very artsy style. I'm <sighs> thinking pink starfish. <laughs> I'm sorry, Craig, what was that? Did you say pink starfish? I, I don't even, I'm, I'm not even sure what he means. What is that in relation to how you, how you keep your, what does that mean exactly, Craig? My guess is going to be martini glass. Oh, that would be it. Yeah, Ooh. nice job. This woman yeah. is crushing <laughs> it, dude. Around the back I do. Like Pretty much like shave everything in the back. I saw a TikTok where someone was talking about how like, of course, boys like, of course she did. are behind you when you're having sex, then they can like see all your hair. And it kind of made me self-conscious about it. Oh, yeah. So then kind of true. You know, I'm not trying to be that guy, but like that's, you know, back in the day when Leon was earlier on in his life, shit looks different from the back. That's all I'm going to say about that. You feel terrible. It's like, oh, I saw a TikTok and it made me feel self-conscious. That's fucking weird. But that's, I guess, how the world works, isn't it? So I don't know what it is. I think it's a lot of pressure and also pressure over women's bodies too, to like look a certain way. Like that's a whole other thing. Of course it is. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's your sexual orientation? I'm straight. Are you dealing with anybody at the moment? Uh, yes, I do have a boyfriend. Has your current boyfriend or has anyone in the past ever made any requests? One time with my ex, I we did go swimming. He kind of made a comment saying like, you're supposed to take care of yourself. But, like, <laughs> hair, legs, arms, everything. I wonder why he's an when ex. When you go out. I'm looking at this symmetric 
thickness of your eyebrows, and I'm thinking nice that you brows. like it, like the edges nice and crisp. <laughs> you have a triangle. A triangle. Like a triangle. Uh, well, I actually have a full bush. Oh, wow, okay. What informs your decision? To One more time for the Craig fans. Oh, wow, okay. What informs your decision? <laughs> You're just to like, ah, uh, oh, wow, full bush. You know Craig's down to fucking clown, dude. He's ready for anything. I don't feel embarrassed, like, with body hair at all. I've had hairy arms, you know, unibrow in, like, middle school, everything like that, and I was never embarrassed. Awesome. So why do you, you do your eyebrows too? now? What do you do? Nothing. It does poke out, but I just, if people have an issue with it, then they have an issue with it, you know? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, who cares? You go, girl! Body positivity, power, fucking everything else. Is my man wearing bait shoes? This guy is ripping style right now. I am enamored. I gotta tell you, this is gonna be like the bananas show. I'm just basing this entirely on, I'm going based on style, going the gauges, okay. the piercing. That's your flavor, that's your style. And like that carries down to the, the downstairs. First of all, is this guy like 6'10 or perhaps 6'9? <laughs> I'm sorry. If you did use this razor, how would you use it? Um, let's see. I would go from the bottom, grab everything. Here he goes. And go from the bottom and get in there. Yeah. There would be there would be some movement up up here as well. <laughs> he has nothing. It is not that. I'm gonna go with a shape. Uh, what shape do you think it is? Honestly, yeah. when you walked out, yeah. like this motherfucker's got a seahorse uh, pubic hair patch <laughs> going on. You're entirely wrong. Um, yeah. I would say. <laughs> I saw this motherfucker thought a seahorse pube patch. Craig is on fire, bro. He's NBA Jam on fire right now. It's full bush, but it's trimmed. That specifically what you said is correct. Hey, Jasmine girl. Hey, what's up? Do you two know each other? She's my cousin's ex girlfriend. <laughs> First impression, totally <laughs> shaved. Full Brazilian. Brazilian? <laughs> Why? Because everything that's going on is like meticulous. Like you put this whole thing together, you took time to do it. Uh, and I'm just imagining that facts. Kind of extends the whole thing. You're wrong. Oh, <laughs> come on, Craig. What do you have? I have a landing strip. You were, I know. <laughs> I like she expected her to know, like her cousin's gonna be spilling the tea. Like, oh, it's my cousin's ex-girlfriend. How how do you not know what my pubic hair looks like? I dated your cousin, hello. He obviously talked about my pubic hair, right? No, dude, what's wrong with you guys, you freaks? I feel like people do feel like I present as like a Brazilian type of girl. What is that presentation? Um, bad bitch, bougie, beautiful. Wow, go on. Don't be too humble now. Have you ever asked your partner to do anything with their pubic hair? Like yes. I've always been in relationships where after talking to them, like they've gone totally waxed. Why? It's my preference. But, you know, their body, their choice. Yes. Oh, here we go. She getting offended now. Like, are you not allowed to have a fucking preference as their boyfriend, bro? Like, look how angry she got. Like, oh, their body, their choice. <laughs> Ah! Like, if you don't want to do that shit, that's fine. I'm just not a fan of it. Maybe we can find other partners. It's that fucking simple. Jesus Christ, people are so crazy. Like, I've seen some dumb shit on Twitter where people are like, oh, if, if you don't want to date a trans person, you're transphobic. What? No, that's not how it fucking works. You're allowed to have preference around who you have sex with. It doesn't mean you're phobic or mean or fucking trying to be bigot. Oh, people are so fucking dumb. Anyways, I just went on a tangent based on her comment. Maybe she's being lighthearted. I can't tell, but God. I've always approached it very respectfully, but be like, hey. There you go. Um, is this something you could try out? It'll be worth your while. What do you mean it'll be worthwhile? I Means I would be more apt to eat your pussy so I won't get hairs all stuck up in my fucking teeth. It doesn't take rocket science, bitch! I don't want to be munching on a fucking bouquet of pubic hair and it would be worth your while to shave that shit so I could enjoy destroying your pussy with my tongue. There I said it. Fucking ridiculous, dude. That's it makes shit. it easier. It's easier to find. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember the first? She's like not convinced. She's like, eh, racist, bigot, gross. Because <laughs> he prefers girls to be shaved. Leave Craig alone! I'm Cassandra. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, Cassandra. I'm Melissa. Are you vegan, vegetarian? No, I just eat the food that I see. Why would you ask me that question? 
That is funny. She came right out of the gates with the vegan vegetarian question, and she's kind of pissed about it. I would be too. If that is that like either they edit it that way, or that's the first thing she asked. Sometimes people's politics also determine what they do with their pubic that's hair. That's facts. I guess that would make sense. And sometimes what we eat is linked into what our politics are. I mean, she's kind of. She kind of got that big brain. I'm just saying, she's not wrong. Of course, there's exceptions to that rule. I have Barack Obama's face shaved as my pubic hair. Do you have a martini glass? No, I don't. But is it full, full blown. Amazon? Nope, it's not. Full blown shave. It's shave, but it is in the. Sh it's in a unique shape. I do shave. Got that part right. Okay. I just don't have a very fancy design. It's just a little soul patch. There you go. Oh, yeah. that's what I call it. Because everybody patch. knows what that looks like. They do. It's true. Where do you think the soul patch is? Well, it would be. <laughs> Look at Craig's face. He's like, is this a trick question? Um, uh, on the left labia exclusively. It's right above the slit. What do you think? Of course, where all the soul patches would be. If we're thinking about a real soul patch, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. We're just thinking about the shape. Okay, so it's up on top. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. So it's more like a it's more like a Hitler stash. Yeah. There you go. I guess. <laughs> I guess you took me there. I don't like the way that a fully shaved vagina looks. I feel like it looks like a child and that's kind of unsettling to me. I'm a grown woman. Like I would like some hair. I feel the same way. Yeah. It was nice to meet you. It was really nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> great talk. You know what? This has been great. Uh, can I get your number? I'd love to talk more about this at a later date. Um, she's like, yeah, fully shaved. Gross. Looks like a child. 17 hairs above it. Little stragglers. Tiny little soul patch. I'm a grown ass woman. Let's go. How was that experience for you? Man, I thought some of them I just had absolutely dialed in and I was completely wrong. It makes me think outside of the box. It's weird, like Does not it? being at the waxing studio. Does I it? felt shyer about asking people when they still have their pants on. What should people do with their <laughs> pubic hair? Whatever you want. Whatever you go, they want Craig. to do. Wait, yeah. what's your pubic hair like? Hey, and they didn't fucking include it. Absolute cowards. Cut is canceled. Yo, that was actually a good time. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had fun with that so, one. Cut does one thing and one thing only. White background, awkward social experiences, but sometimes it's fun to watch along.